guys, it's Meg. Today, you're going to watch me get ready for the beach, but most of all, at the beach. And I got all set up to film, and then they started drilling. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be proactive about it. So I just went out and asked them politely. I'm gonna go ask the drillers if they would stop drilling for five minutes. Wish me luck. So I could film my video for the internet. And they said yes. So that was kind of cool. Um, I'm not really sure if they completely understood me, but they seemed really nice and happy to oblige. So here we are with no drilling noise. I can't believe I live in California, but I've never filmed a video on the beach. I think they're starting again. Okay, really quickly, a lot of you guys have been commenting on my choker necklace. I have been trying unsuccessfully to bring the 90s back, um, although I was only alive in it for a few years. But if you weren't born in the 90s, um, well, this is awkward. If you guys want your own, I'm gonna do a giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to me, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter so we can be best friends on the internet. Comment below the last time you were at a beach and for what. You don't really have to say for what, you just have to say last time you were at the beach because I thought that'd be a fun little entry. I was gonna like grab my minion and be like, he wants us to be best friends, but I just dropped him on his face. So, I hope you enjoy. So make up for a beach is super easy um, because you're going to be playing in the water and the sun so you're not going to need much. All I'm doing is just putting on a little bit of moisturizer. It's a natural bronzer but it's really really mild so it doesn't make your hands orange or anything. And after that I'm just putting the BB cream all over my face. It's really moisturizing which is nice because salt water really dries out my skin. And then I'm just finishing it with a little bit of loose mineral powder to kind of set it all. So these three things are kind of like enough coverage and protection from like the sun and the wind and everything like that and also it looks natural. And then since I've never found a good waterproof eyebrow pencil I like, all I'm doing is just brushing through my brows. To be honest, it's the beach so I'm not going to care too much what I look like but I find that if I can just brush through my brows and kind of style them the way I like, they don't really come out of place very easily because they're pretty thin. And the next thing I'm doing is just curling my eyelashes. Um, this is the Maybelline Eyelash Curler. But for now I'm using this and then just doing a couple really light coats of my favorite mascara but in waterproof. And then I just add a little bit of bronzer because I'm pretty pale and I want to have that like sun-kissed look while I'm at the beach. And after that, all I'm doing to finish up is adding some chapstick with sunscreen. My lips are really dry and they get dry easily, so this is a good way to prevent your lips from getting sunburned. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know I'm obsessed with the Got To Be Orange Triangle, whatever it's called. Um, I've literally been using it for like five years and I am still using it now. I am obsessed with it. It protects your hair and it makes it super soft. And then for my hair, it's super easy. I already have wavy hair, so all I'm doing is adding a little bit of S-shaped waves or curls, whatever you want to call them. And this takes about five minutes. Obviously and the curls don't to stay finish perfectly, up, but that's what I like about it. all my curls and waves, what I like to do is add a little bit of Garnier Finishing Hair Paste. It adds a nice texture to your hair. I don't use very much. I just kind of rub it in my palms and then like scrunch it into my hair. And it keeps my hair like soft and not frizzy while I'm at the beach, which is really nice. And I bring little touch-ups with me in my beach bag. Yes, that is my red lipstick. I'm addicted. And if you want to see the rest of what's in my beach bag, let me know in the comments below. And now I'm just going to show you the outfit that I wore.
make sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video and I hope you enjoyed.